Hi all. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your course team to invite all of your students to meet with you virtually, either for, say, a class or maybe office hours. One tiny bit of terminology first, Microsoft Teams is the overall platform, but you will also have a team created for each course you teach. Automatically happens, and then you decide if you use it by choosing whether you activate it or not. So what do I mean? Well, you would scroll down and find your team. And by the way, I'm in Microsoft Teams, the app, and I clicked into the Teams tab, so do that. And then find the course you're gonna be teaching that term. And let's use this one as an example. If I click in, in a moment, it'll actually tell me I can activate it. If I don't wanna use it, I just don't activate it. If I do wanna use it, I will activate it, and then I can use this as a space to meet with my students. I don't actually wanna use this course, so I'm gonna to switch to another, so bear with me. Okay, so this looks a little different because this is a team that I use for examples. You can see I've already scheduled meetings previously. I've got some extra channels, but this is where I can meet with my students. And one thing I will mention right off the bat is if I need to add a TA, I can. Your students will automatically be populated into your team for you. They, if people are added or dropped, they will be added or dropped. But if you need to add a TA, you'd click the three dots beside the team name so I'll click the three dots and you can add a member. Click that, you can then search for your TA and add them. Otherwise, if we just wanna invite our students, the easiest way to do this is to use your general channel. When you start off with your team, it'll have a general channel. You can create other channels. These are kind of like discussion forums. I'll show you more about this in a future video, but likely using the general channel is easiest because all your students are there and what you can do is simply choose to meet with them. Let's say you don't want to plan in advance. You could click the arrow beside meet in the top right here and just meet now. Personally, I prefer to schedule the meetings in advance, especially because it gives me a little bit more control over things like settings. So I can schedule a meeting. So I'm bringing this over from my other screen and here's my details page. So right off the bat, I can call it whatever I want. Let me zoom in a bit more to make this clearer. There we go. And I might call this weekly meetings. If I'm only wanting to make one meeting, I could probably just call it by the date. If I wanna invite additional attendees, I can. So maybe I haven't added my TA to the course yet. Well, in that case, I might invite myself over and add them. If they're already a part of the team, everyone in the general channel, everyone in my class is already being invited. I can change the time and date. I can change the length of the meeting, and I can also choose if it repeats. Likely for a lot of us, we're gonna have weekly meetings, and maybe it's every, say, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, I choose the starting date. I can choose the end date, so I would choose the end of term. In my case, I'm just gonna go till next week to not make too many meetings, and I'll save. And so I would get repeating meetings, say, for the entire term. If this is more of a hybrid situation, maybe you're having office hours both online and in person, you could also add a location. So maybe put in your office. You could also type the details, maybe a simple message. This is where we will meet every week. Now, before we send the meeting, I would suggest you take a quick look at the response options. Response options, because this could allow some annoyance for you basically. Right now I have, by default, the request responses are asked for. This means anytime a student says, yes, I'm coming, I'm gonna get an email saying they are going to come to the meeting. Personally, I don't want that. You might though. Personally, I'm gonna turn it off though. I can also turn off allow forwarding. This would prevent someone from forwarding this meeting on to someone else who's not a part of my class and letting them come. Uh, for registration, I don't think that's important because in our case, it's only the students in our class being invited or any additional people I added here, including say a guest speaker. But once I'm happy, I'm going to click send and my meeting will get sent off to my students. One thing to consider is that when I set up the meeting, it will be sent to all the students who are registered in my class. It will be added to their calendar, which is a nice feature. But this means you likely don't wanna be doing this too far in advance of your term because you might still have students being added and dropped to the course. If they are not in the course when you first add them or when you first send that meeting invite, they won't get it. 
but they can manually add it. And of course, they would see it in the team if they go here. But they can manually add it to the calendar by going to your course homepage here. And if they click into here, it would list the meetings you have already set up. And if they want, they could actually sync this to their calendar manually. Again, I do recommend not doing this too far in the term, so you don't have to show too many students how to do this, but they can add it to their calendar manually. Of course, again, we're gonna to wanna to go back to the general channel to see the meeting we just created. You can see it's at the bottom here. I would be able to click into it and join the meeting when I'm ready to. I can also change the meeting options, but I'm gonna show you that in a future video.